Good morning, good afternoon, and a good night, everyone. We are very good morning, and we will present today about anxiety disorder. So, um, anxiety does not have to include another feature, but from what we put out it. Anxiety is like a walking chair. It gives you something to do, but it does not get you in fun. Have you ever felt anxious? And uh, what do you do when you feel anxious? Do you know what anxiety disorder is? And um, where does anxiety disorder come from? Or can anxiety disorder be preventable? Now, in this presentation, we will discuss and give you an education about anxiety disorder and how to prevent anxiety disorder. As a psychology student of Sublas Medical University, who is learning about mental illness, we are going to present about one of mental illness such as anxiety disorder. In addition to present this topic, we have done a lot of research in preparation for this presentation. Guys, do you know that anxiety can happen with everyone? But one thing that you must know that you must be aware because anxiety can turn into anxiety disorder. Anxiety disorder occurs frequently, more intense can last longer, up to hours or even days. Anxiety disorder are the most common mental health problem in women and are second only to substance abuse disorder in men. Anxiety disorder can make it hard for people to heal or study, to manage their reflex and to relate to well with others, and often result in financial strain and profound personal suffering. Anxiety disorder are available and early treatment can help to ensure treatment success. Now, before we start our presentation, let us introduce ourselves. First, there is Russell Amora Adeswani with student number ID and the price 204. And then, Anha Sutiana with student number and it by 179. Then, Gurzam Angri Rohnia with student number ended by 194. Then, there is Nikhil Patricia Barrios with student number ended by 182. Then, there is me, Natania Sawisinaga, with student number ended by 178. And there is Nurhalisa Amalia with student number and by 193. And the last but not least, there is Malavina Belinda Tiara Pitaloka with student number and by 263. So, what we will be discuss in our presentation today? First, we will discuss about what is anxiety disorder. Second, we will discuss about what this is anxiety disorder. Third, we will discuss about the symptoms of anxiety disorder. Fourth, we will discuss about how anxiety disorder be built and how to prevent anxiety disorder. And the last but not least, we will discuss about the impact of anxiety disorder in our daily life. So, what are you waiting for, guys? Let's get to it. So, anxiety disorder. So, the meaning of anxiety disorder, the causes, and also the symptoms. Before that, we must know the difference between anxiety disorder and anxiety. Third, in his study, states that anxiety is a problem when it becomes overwhelming or unmanageable, and it comes unexpectedly. But anxiety are mental illnesses that have a big impact on your life. They may experience a lot of uncomfortable physical sensation and physical health problems. First of all, let's talk about anxiety, what anxiety disorder is. An anxiety disorder is a type of mental health condition. If you have an anxiety disorder, 
may respond to certain things and situations with fear and dread. You may also experience physical signs of anxiety, such as moaning hurt and sweating. Neil, Danielle, Kate, and Linda in their book, Anxiety Disorder and Information Guide, also say that people with anxiety disorder may have an anxious feeling. They are so uncomfortable that they avoid daily routines and activities that might cause these feelings. That's next to the, let's move on to the next person. Okay, guys, after we know the definition of anxiety disorder, we will learn the causes of anxiety disorder. From the website Cleveland Clinic, anxiety disorders are like other forms of mental illness that don't come from personal weakness, character flaws, or problems with upbringing. But researchers don't know exactly what causes anxiety disorders. They suspect a combination of factors plays a role, chemical imbalance, environmental factors, and heredity. Anxiety disorder also causes excessive worry that affect thoughts, feelings, and causes problems in a person's life for at least six months. But when referring, when referring to Healthline the causes of anxiety disorders are stress, genetic factors, personality type, trauma, gender, gender dysphoria, racism, sex, medical causes, life events, and medications. The next material will be explained by my friends. Okay, the next is the, the symptoms of anxiety disorders. As for some of the symptoms of anxiety disorders from myoclinic.org are as follows. Feeling nervous, restless or tense, having a sense of impending danger, panic or doom, having an increased heart rate, breathing, breathing rapidly, sweating, trembling, feeling weak or tired, Trouble concentrating or thinking about anything other than the present worry, having trouble sleeping, experiencing gastrointestinal problems, having difficulty controlling worry, and the last, having the urge to avoid things that the Okay, after we know about definition, cause, and symptoms of anxiety disorder, in this part, we will discuss how anxiety disorder can be helped, how to prevent anxiety disorder, and last but not least, we will discuss how anxiety disorder gives impact to social life. Okay, first, a big question, a question that may have occurred to all of us almost, almost to the disease. Will anxiety really be helped? Anxiety itself has various variants and complexity. But when referring to healthline.com and springboxhospital.org, the short answer for can anxiety be helped is that it cannot be helped. Why? This is because there is no guarantee that anxiety will be permanently lost and will not arise again. But it, that, it does not mean we should always life controlled by anxiety. There are always ways to keep it from being a big problem. Getting proper care will be greatly helpful in keeping the symptoms down and controlling anxiety. Okay, next, I will continue explaining related material about how to prevent anxiety disorder. After we have learned a lot about anxiety disorder, maybe some of us are wondering how to prevent it. Based on the Clifton Clinic website, anxiety disorder cannot be prevented, but there are several ways to reduce the risk of anxiety disorder, including 
Next slide. The first is check out medication. We can do this by talking to healthcare provider or pharmacist. Before talking over the counter medication or herbal remedies, because uh, some of us contain chemical that can exacerbate, exacerbate symptom of anxiety. This one is limit caffeine. We can uh, be done by stopping or limiting how much caffeine you consume, including coffee, tea, cola, and chocolate. The third is like a healthy lifestyle. This can be done by exercising regularly and eating a healthy and balanced diet. And finally, seek help. This can be obtained by someone to counseling and so far if you experience a traumatic or disturbing event. And for the last topic is, what is the impact of anxiety disorder? While anxiety disorder are not common in the modern time, they have varying degrees of effect on your daily life. And if not treated, anxiety disorder negatively change your life in many ways, such as, for the first, is affect your mental health. Your mental health is always at stake whenever you experience anxiety. That is because you are analyzing stress, panic, and unnecessary fear. Your quality of thinking and decision making may be significantly affected, resulting in variant from of mental problem. For the second, affect your quality of life. Any mental illness will always take a toll on your quality of life. They essentially let you live in fear, threat, and uncontrollable worry. This limits you many ways, such as the inability to take risk in your personal life. And for the sector, and for the third, anxiety can negatively impact your self-esteem. Whenever you experiment panic disorder or a generalized anxiety disorder, living a life full of worries and self-doubt can negatively affect your personality and self worth Next slide, please. And for the fourth, problem with degation. Degation problems are also a common effect of anxiety in many people. This many first through nausea and stomach cramp. To a greater extent, anxiety disorder may worsen irritable bowel syndrome. Chronic anxiety disorder also impair your immune system. They increase the risk of developing ulcers. And for the last, is affect neurological problem. When you suffer from anxiety, your body activates the sympathetic nervous system. It is from of retaliation to the perceived threat, which is the same from the sympathetic nervous system to work Okay, this brings us to the end of our presentation today. Karen Salmanson said, anxiety happens when you think that you have to figure out every thought at once. Great, you are strong. You got this. Take it day by day. So guys, if you're overthinking about something, if you feel you are not okay, take a deep breath and believe in yourself that you are stronger than what you think. You are worthy and strong. Don't be too hard on yourself. Everything's going to be okay. After all that we have presented, you already know about what anxiety is, it cases, symptoms, how to deal with it, its effect, and how to treat it. Now, we have to be aware about ourselves and treat ourselves better. Okay. Hopefully, from here, we will be more aware and understand about anxiety disorders. Before we end, there is a quote from Epileptus from my life to reduce anxiety. There is only one way to happiness, and that is to stop worrying about things that are beyond the power of our will. That's all from us. Thank you, and see you guys.